Hi friends, we have a new update regarding the layouts and the widgets. What you now can do is edit your layout on the planner itself by, for example, clicking on a widget and then clicking on a plus button to add a row or a column like this. Then you can choose to add a new widget like this. You can also extend it to the top or to the bottom, to the left side or right side. Let me quickly show you. So here I've added um, empty boxes to the left, right and to the bottom. You can also add one to the top like this. Then now if you want to extend this widget to either side, you can click on the arrows. Let's say you wanted, want to extend it to the left, click on the arrow here. If you want to extend it to the top, you can click up here on this arrow like this. If you want to add a new widget, a new box to the right side, you can click on the empty space here and click on the add button to add a new widget box. So this is how you can add additional boxes to your layout. Let's say you want to have the layout specifically set to 1.5 inch columns. So let's take the first one as an example. Let's say you want this schedule here to be 1.5 inches wide. You will click on these fractions up here you can adjust them by clicking on the plus or minus button right here to set it exactly to 1.5 inches. Have inch selected, type in 1.5 like this. And now this exact column here is 1.5 inches wide. The same also goes for the rows. You can make them bigger or smaller. If you do want to delete um, a row or a column, what you can do is simply click on it and then you will see this trash bin button right here, this red one. Uh, click on it, um, click on delete and this will delete that column for you. The same course goes for the sides. If you want to delete this one, click on it, click on the red button, click on delete and now it's deleted. And then besides this, you can also measure the boxes or the widgets. So if you click on a widget, you will see the measurements show up down here below. You can have them set to pixel, inches, centimeters or points. And then uh, you can click on the widgets and then see what the measurements are down here below. So this box, for example, is 1.98 inches high and 1.5 inches wide. And then let's say you want this uh, exact widget to not be 1.5 inches but 1.6. Uh, what you would do is go back here to the top column right here and then adjust it up here to maybe set it to 1.6 or any other kind of measurement. So this is how you work on the layouts. Prior to this update, you had to go to layout up here and then go to adjust layout and then you had to work or add boxes here in this menu. Uh, we still have it active so you still can work on your layout here in this menu if you prefer it to be here. But other than that you can also from now on click on the edit layout button and directly edit your layout here on the planner. If you don't see this button here, make sure you open a new private mode window on your browser and you should see this button here appear. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!